at 10.30. to learn to choose between 104 different breakfast cereals. <laughs> kid, did you ever have the problem of getting to school and not being able to find a parking place in the student parking lot? <laughs> When you were a kid, could you fly to London for breakfast, Paris for lunch, and Rome for dinner, and still be in a Holiday Inn? <laughs> kid, did you ever sit in front of a war and eat dinner? <laughs> as far as we progress, we have to be the best the world has known. And when you were a kid, did you ever have to be careful about what movies you went to with your parents because you thought they might be embarrassed? <laughs> Kid, did you have you for parents? <laughs> The new 
Summer Performers, Chicagoland 1971, starring guest host Lloyd Haynes and featuring Colleen Zink, Greg Baker, Judy Story, Sammy Chester Jr., Brenda Mitchell, and Mark Costelny. Is brought to you by your Coca-Cola bottler in Chicago. Coke, it's the real thing. And by McDonald's, your Chicagoland McDonald's Operators Association. With season's greetings to all. and gentlemen, Mr. Lloyd Haynes. Good evening. And welcome to the New Performers 1971. This is a fourth annual report on what's happening with young people today. And the star is a cast of 25 Chicago area high school kids. Not full-fledged performers working at full-time careers but high school students, and that's the key to what this is all about. Because today as a group, young people of this age are brighter and more knowledgeable than ever before. It's a fact, and there are some pretty good reasons for it. Because the world in which they have been growing up is different in some special ways. It has different things in it, and one of those things is television. Kids of today have been raised on TV. Actually, we've been raised on TV dinners. I was six years old before I found out that they didn't come with the set. I used to think that all food came frozen. My mother says she doesn't feel as guilty about serving them, now that they're called convenience foods. When you were a kid, could you eat on the floor as long as it was in front of a television set? Because they have been watching television, they know more. But uh, what can you learn from watching TV? <laughs> Like acne or a headache, 60 seconds. We 
also learn to tell the good guys from the bad guys. The bad guys are on TV early in the morning or Sunday afternoon. The good guys get reruns. We learn about fantasy. If you're a hero on TV, you never have to wait for your change when you're a paid a bill. And if you're a heroine, you can wake up in the morning with your hair already in place. We learn about reality. If the news bulletin interrupts a program, it may be serious, but not critical. But if it interrupts commercial, look out. One thing television teaches is that we do have freedom of choice. Even when the President of the United States speaks, you can still watch something else.